This is your host, Swapnil Bharti, and today we have with us once again, Cheryl Hung, VP of Ecosystem at Cloud Native Computing Foundation. Cheryl, it's great to have you on the show again. It's been so long since we saw each other. Of course, we have not seen each other in person for a very long time, but it's great to have you on the camera. Yeah, definitely. It's great to be here and have definitely missed seeing everyone in person. So I'm looking forward to getting back to that, getting back on the road when we can. Right. And what is interesting is that the last time we saw each other and now your roles have also changed. You have taken some new responsibilities at CNCF. So I also want to understand a bit about your role, your responsibilities as VP of Ecosystem at CNCF. Yeah. So um, just to give a little bit of background for myself as well, I'm a software engineer by background. I started building infrastructure at Google, well, really building applications running on top of Google's Borg infrastructure. So when I joined CNCF, um, my focus is really on end users and leading the end user community. So companies and organizations that are adopting cloud native and Kubernetes and really helping them be as successful and as productive as they can be with cloud native. Um, so day to day, mostly I work with the 150 or so companies. Um, these are anything from the tiniest startups all the way up to really big names like Apple and Spotify and MasterCard. And yeah, it's just really exciting and really fun to work with all these different kinds of companies. Can you also talk about in this uh one and a half year or so uh, since uh, we were hit by the pandemic, what we did see was that a lot of companies, they rushed towards cloud because that's where they saw if they want to survive, cloud is where they should be. Otherwise, they could not sustain and survive. So last year, everybody was rushing. Now in 2021, that kind of hangover period is kind of over. Now they are settling down. So what have you seen how companies rushed and now, when they're settling down, they're like hit with the reality, hey, cloud, as you know, as exciting as it is, there are a lot of challenges that come with it. So so can you talk about that aspect? A hundred percent agree. Um, yeah, so like everything else, COVID accelerated the move towards cloud and cloud native infrastructure. Um, companies were realizing that having on-prem data centers where you had to send people physically there wasn't always a good idea. Um, and so, the big the big shift that we see we saw last year i think was moving just to cloud so moving to mostly aws or azure or google cloud one of the cloud providers um this year i also see that move towards cloud native on top of that and you and i you know we've been in this space for a while so for us this is this is kind of old news because we've been looking at this for a couple of years but um, for a lot of companies, it is still very, very, very new. The wonderful thing now, though, is that the community is so big, you can almost always find someone who has solved the same challenges as you and maybe six to 12 months ahead on their cloud native journey. And so things that you start to um, things, I, I would say the early stages are actually really well solved already, like spinning up a cluster. It's pretty straightforward. Um, adding um, monitoring, for example, pretty straightforward. Now that we're getting into the day two operations, things like security, storage, um, managing multiple clusters, like those are where the challenges start to arise. Since you work very closely with, you know, not only the ecosystem, but, you know, all the players as well, uh, what are the challenges that you think are still there when they embrace all these cloud native technologies, mostly which are hosted at CNCF for Linux Foundation? Mm. I see two major challenges. Um, one is just complexity. You know, we're in a great space now, but there's so many tools and so many options out there. And honestly, the best practices are still not yet figured out for for this. So companies have to invest increasing amounts of time and energy to figure out the right solutions. Um, the second challenge I see is more for larger companies. Um, these are companies who are trying to get a hold of their cloud spending. And a lot of the conversations I have are about, you know, how can we properly understand and manage which teams are spending or which applications you know, how do we divide up how spending 
goes towards which teams and which applications and how do we properly manage that. Um, there's a couple of options here. Uh, one of the sister foundations, in fact, to the CNTF is called FinOps, Financial Operations Foundation. Um, and that's basically their focus. It's, you know, getting control of your cloud spending. So I'd say those are the two things right now that are still definite challenges that face almost any company. Recently, you folks also did, uh, you know, a CNCF and user technology radar. I want to understand uh, what is the, the focus, goal, uh, idea behind this? The goal of the tech radar is to really understand what end users really think about cloud native, what they recommend, what they have tried and what things they are moving away from. So the format of a technology radar has been around for about 10 years at this point. Um, it looks like a radar, so there are rings around it and things that are closer to the center of, of the rings are things that are more mature, have been used successfully. And then as you get further away, those are less mature tools, frameworks, um, or ones that are kind of on their way out already. So it's just a very quick way to evaluate an emerging landscape and look at all of the tools and options that are out there. First of all, thanks for explaining what the goal and the scope of the radar is. Now let's talk about uh, the, the recent you know, uh, report. What are some of the key findings that you personally are excited about? Or you're like, hey, that's a great insight. Yeah, so the latest one that we just published, this is our fifth edition published in June, 2021 is on multi-cluster management. Um, the first thing to note about this is that compared to some of our previous radars, which were about things like database storage or secrets management, multiple clusters is only a problem that you have when you reach a certain scale. Now, most even small companies will have one, two, three small clusters when you start getting to 10 or 100 or 1,000 clusters, that's when you actually need more tooling to help you with that multi-cluster management. So that's the first sort of thing to notice about this particular one. The respondents to this were usually bigger companies, medium to large companies. And then the other thing that was a bit different about this radar is that it's actually two radars. So the team decided to separate this into tools that are used for core deployment of a, of a cluster. And then the other one is about the services and the applications that you run on top of it. Um, I think the thing that I found most interesting that came out of this is that every company is still doing this very, very differently. And every company is still very entrenched. I think because once you've invested four or five years into a certain amount of tooling, whether that's you know Terraform or whether that's Bash Script and duct tape and glue, like you become very attached to that and it becomes very hard to move away from what you've built. So companies kind of scaled up, putting bits together whatever, however they wanted to, and then it's actually a very difficult problem to move away from that. You need quite a significant um, benefit or reason for changing. And you're saying that, you know, after looking at the data, uh, the, the team decided to kind of split into two categories or, you know, uh, cluster deployment and core services. Can you talk about the methodology that you use for this radar so that we can also understand the inner workings that how you look at the data, how you analyze it, and how you then try to get value out of it? The idea behind the methodology is we wanted this to really reflect the voice of the community. So, we start out by just choosing a handful of volunteers from the community, totally at random, different companies, different sizes, and we ask them to pick a topic first. Anything that they find interesting, they're currently struggling with, they're looking at in their work. Um, and in this case, the radar team chose multi-cluster management as their topic. And then we go out to the 150 companies and end user community and we ask them, to basically fill in a survey and say what they're using for multiple for multi-cluster management um, with a set of tools. And everyone can see everybody else's answers um, within this community. So it's kind of semi-public. Um, and then from that, the radar team, those volunteers, look at the data and they are the ones who choose where the what the final radar 
will look like and what are the patterns or themes or surprising things that they saw from from the data that they saw. And then we wrap that all up and we publish that onto radar.cncf.io. Within this particular radar, the radar team identified cluster API as something people are really looking forward to. Um, cluster API is a way of simplifying not just the deployment of clusters, but also the operational upgrades and ongoing management. Um, it's still in early phases. But I think a lot of companies and organizations are very, very keen to try it out as soon as as soon as they can. Um, separately to that, these tech radars come out once every quarter. Um, we actually have a public GitHub issue, which you can go to cncf.io slash tech dash radar. And you can go and vote on future topics that you think you would be interested in seeing. So definitely encourage you to do that. Um, my background, I come from a, a storage, cloud native storage background. So I would kind of love to see one about storage. Um, and then as well, I think financial, the cloud, managing cloud spending is one that I haven't seen that I think a lot of people might be interested in as well. Cheryl, thank you so much for taking time out today. And not only just talk about your new role at CNCF, the areas that you're focusing on, the challenges that we are now, since everybody is embracing cloud that they are uh, facing, but also talk about the radar. And I would love to have you back on the show. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. It's been a pleasure.